Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you how to compute the net present value (NPV) of an investment. A company invests hundred thousand in one machine. Suppose its internal annual profit are expected to be as follow: in the first year, the profit is minus ten thousand. They may making a loss of ten thousand. On the second year, the profit is fifty thousand. And on the third year, the profit is forty-five thousand. On the fourth year, the profit is thirty thousand. On the fifth year, the profit is twenty-five thousand. On the sixth year, the profit is fifteen thousand. Assume that the machine has a useful life of six year, and the selling price of ten thousand at the end of six year, and the cost of capital is ten percent. We want to find out what is the net present value. That is a cross profit or loss on this investment. Analyze this problem. We need to compute the present value of all this cash flow. So in the beginning, the initial investment is hundred thousand. So the cash flow is minus hundred thousand, and the present value is minus hundred thousand. Now, how to find the present value of the first year? The profit in the first year is a loss of ten thousand. Now, in order to find this, you must know the time value of money. Just imagine how much you should borrow, so that you need to pay back ten thousand if the interest rate ten percent. So let's calculate the present value of the first year. So we know that the present value. Of the first year, since the interest is ten percent, so after first year, say you borrow how much you borrow now, so that at the end you pay back ten thousand. So that means the present value, in this case, is ten thousand over one point one. Let's calculate ten thousand over one point one. Ten thousand over one point one, and find that this is nine zero nine zero point nine one around this. That means that in order to pay back ten thousand in the first year, you need to borrow minus nine zero nine zero point nine one. That means to borrow nine zero nine zero point nine one. Now let's find out what is the present value of the profit of fifty thousand the second year. So we know that in order to receive fifty thousand in the second year, just imagine that how much you need to put in the bank so that two years later you receive fifty thousand. So let's call it PV two. So since you put in the bank, the bank interest rate of ten percent, and you have to put it in the two years so that you receive fifty thousand. The present value of fifty thousand in the second year is fifty thousand over one point one raised to the power two. So let's calculate this thing. So I have fifty thousand divided by One point one plus shift power two. As a cube, it's four one three two two point three one. So I write this is four one three two two point three one. Four one three two two point three one. So that means that the present value of fifty thousand in the end of second year is. Four one three two two point three one. How about the present value of forty five thousand? The profit in the third year. Just imagine that you have to put the amount PV three in the bank, and the bank pay you ten percent interest. So you pull it for three years. 
so now how much we put in there so that you receive 45,000 at the end of the year so this PV3 is equal to 45,000 over 1.1 this power 3 so put it in the calculator 45000 divided by 1.1 close the bracket shift power 3 and you find that this number is 33809.16 that is 33809.16 that means the present value of 45000 and end of the year is 33 809.16 Continue How about the present value of 30,000 profit in the fourth year? So let's call the present value of 30,000 profit in the fourth year Let's call it PV4 So you put this amount in the bank and bank give you 10% interest and wait for four years you receive 30,000 So PV4 is actually 30,000 over 1.1 raised to the power 4. What is the answer? So 30,000 divided by 1.1 close bracket shift power 4. And they'll give you 2,490.40. So the value will be. 2,490.40 2,490.40 So you write it here So now let's look at the present value for the profit of 25,000 in the fifth year Then they call it PV5 So this amount put in the bank and wait for it to grow at 10% for 5 years and receive 25,000 so that means that PB5 is equal to 25,000 over 1.1 raised to the power 5 and what is this equal to? so we get 25,000 divided by 1.1 close the packet shift power 5 and that will give you 1552.3 Okay, one five five two three point zero three, and at the end of the sixth year, you make a profit of fifteen thousand and sell the machine at ten thousand. Now, what is the present value for this? So, you can do a calculation that is equal to two five zero zero zero. So, let's try it out two five zero 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 divided by 1.1 raised to the power 6 now at the end of 6 year so the present value is 14111.85 so the net present value now is the total present value you have 100,000 first then minus 90 90.91 and plus 41322.31 plus 33809.17 plus 20490.40 plus 15523.03 plus 14111.85 and the total is 16165.85 so the net present value is 16165.85 for this investment now instead of doing this year by year, we can actually use the casual financial consultant to compute the net present value. So you can let me call up the calculator again. I'm going to apply the function cash flow. Cash flow here. 
Then uh, input the interest rate. The cost of capital is 10%. So I press 1 zero for 10%. Then the cash flow editor. So in order to do that, press execute. Then you see a column. So you enter the uh, data. First here, initial investment is minus 100,000. You get minus 1 zero 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 zero. Execute. Then profit in the first year is minus 10,000, minus 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Profit in the second year is 50,000, 5, 0, 0, 0, 0. And profit in the third year is 4, 5, 0, 0, 0, 45,000. Profit in the fourth year is 30,000, 3, 0, 0, 0, 0. And then profit in the fifth year, 25,000. Profit in the end of sixth year is 15,000 plus a selling price of 10,000. Execute. So we have finished entering the data. Now to continue the calculation escape, Let's escape to get out of this table. Now, to solve, we move down. Go to MPV, net present value, the uh, soft button. The blue soft button there. And you find that the end net present value MPV is 16165.85599. So, this is how you can use this calculator to compute the net present value. Thanks for watching.